another finals with two Jamaicans. Yeah, it's finals and it's hurdles. Any cat can play. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Raymond and I are here to talk about the dreaded hurdles finals. This time the women's 100 meters hurdles finals. There are two Jamaicans in this final, so two Jamaicans in for the but let's not get into that one first. Daniel Williams is one Jamaican. And let me share the, the starting lineup with the Raymond so you and the fans so that they can follow as well. Daniel Williams will be in, in lane number two, a defending champion, well, not defending champion, but a former champion, her season's best. 12.50 and this she ran in the semi-finals to make it remember we've, we've been talking about doing your best um it's a very open and competitive 100 meters hurdles lineup doing your best anybody in this field can win um doing your best to advance and daniel did that her season's best to advance um to the final um there is Nia Ali the American the the leader up to the world championship over this distance this season then Kendra Harrison the American who did, did a 12 24 just shy of her personal best and former world record of 12 20 to trump Ali as the world leader there is the defending champion, the world record holder, Toby Amiosan. 12.34 is her season's best and the world record, we know, 12.12. 12. Um, she's here. We never expected her to be here. There were rumors circulating. There was uh, there law, lawyers involved and all of that controversy around her appearance, but she's here and she's in the final. The Bahamian Charlton, 12.44, or season's best and personal best. She has done that in this competition to make it to the final. And there is the Puerto Rican Jasmine Camacho Queen. 12.31 is our season's best. Then the youngster from Jamaica, Akira Nugent. 12.43 is our personal best and season's best. And then there is the Kambunji. 1247. Almost all of these runners are old soul names, Raymond. And we say, um, spare some thought for Megan Tapper, who barely missed the out on making it to this final. The other Jamaican who entered this race. What do you feel about this lineup, Raymond? Um, very open, very even. Anybody can win. Well, Kirk is, is 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 one of the strongest lineup I've seen in a long time. Um, over the, the season so far, a lot of these persons have met each other, and and like for example, um, Toby Amazon would not have met um, Kendra Arson a lot, and so to have them showdown now in this finals, it should be exciting fireworks, it's a cracker, everything you can think of that described this one as something that you would want to see. I mean, if it wasn't for the World Championship, person would pay big bucks to see this kind of lineup. And I and I agree with you. I mean, the competition from Kendra Harris, Nia Ali, Amiosan, Kamacho Quinn. I mean, these are household names that will anybody, you really can't bet against any of these persons to win. Before, before you come in, we also want to 
just wish all the athletes all the best. We want to we want to see everybody cross the line and doing their best. We don't want to see nobody drop or fast start or anything like that in this final. We want to see a very, very exciting and competitive race. World record, possibly. Um, I'm not so certain about the world record, no. but what I'm certain about is possibly a new world lead and some presses would have to do their season best and even personal best to really get a good shine with a quality fee like that, like this, you know, persons are going to be forced to run outside of themselves and so personal best are on the cards. You think the defending champion can defer their title? Yeah. Um, Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be difficult, but yes. That kind of sounds like a, a somber, yes. But all right. Why is there? And, and um, of course, they have, they have, and I'm sure they are nervous as, as me trying to call them winning the race. So, yeah. It, it sounds like a nervous. I try to call who are going to win. But, but I tell you. But, <laughs> but Kendra, Kendra looks really good um, throughout the rounds. 12-24 in the first round, though, um, cruising. Some persons have her as the overwhelming favorite going into this. Uh, what do you feel about that? And I can see why they would have her as an overwhelming favorite. Um, I can see that. However, she tends to not get it together in the finals, and we wait and see when she does what, what could come of it, but she tends not to. And because of that, you have to give a, a Toby the nod. And, and so that's why I'm saying that. But if she does get it together and keep her composure, believe me, it's one stretch for the line with, with all of these athletes. I'm, I'm talking about the Toby, the Toby, the Kendra, and the Nea. I think there's one stretch to the line. And not to mention if Kamacha Queen find herself in that mix, yeah, um, she might find herself on the podium as well. What Daniel Williams needs to do to win or get a medal or even um, Akira Nugent, what? Do they need to do to win? I mean, well, Kira Nugent, Nugent clearly have to run better than her personal best, you know, to stand a, a chance and put pressure on these athletes. And she's going to be all the way out there so she can run her own race. Um, and she has to have to do better than her personal best. Um, Daniel Williams, our coach said, he's in the greatest form of her life. She make it to the finals. A lot of presses wouldn't have expected this. I'm sure her coach did. And so what she needs to do now, form of her life, Personal best are beyond. I mean, and and Cambodia running out of the eight lane eight. I mean, her sister has been carrying the flag of Switzerland for some time now, and it is good to see that she has stepped up and is in a global final. Yeah, Kirk, definitely one for the future. Um, Cambodia here, definitely one for the future. So, fans out there, we would love to hear from you. What's your thoughts on this very competitive lineup? As Raymond said, he's nervous trying to call the winner. I can just imagine those who are at the line. But we want to, again, wish all the athletes all the very best to execute an excellent race so that we can talk about this for years and years and years to come. All the best to the Jamaicans, Daniel Williams and Kieran Nugent. We, if we get medal, we'll be extremely grateful. So fans out there, let us hear from you. What's your thoughts on the lineup? Do you think the Jamaicans have a chance of getting a medal? And who are going to get it? Who are going to come first? Who are going to come second? And who are going to come dead last? Leave all those comments in the comment section below. And always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. And to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell all of them friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Raymond and I signing out saying, be blessed.